BPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for February 1st, 2021. That's right, February. January just blew by, didn't it? We are now uh, in, in the midst of a winter storm, and uh, we're going to be uh, seeing a cold conveyor belt of moisture coming off around this low pressure here. going to move off the ocean, and this fetch off the ocean is going to create some very heavy snow in that corridor where it wraps around this low. And you can see that here a little bit here. I'm going to show that a different vantage point on the close-up, but this is just giving you the idea of the overview where the heavy snow is going to come in into at least our very eastern areas where we have our jackpot areas on our on our map, which is on the weather alerts page. Uh, we did not change that map, but we just left it up there. And I do think that uh, the, the that most of that area should uh, of that map should verify. So uh, we're still looking good at this hour here, and I'm doing this video uh, just before midnight on uh, January 31st so this is looking ahead to uh, the the entire day and then we're going to start to taper down a little bit in the evening and we're still going to have snow showers hanging around here on Tuesday because this low is still going to be kind of elongated and still throwing back precipitation here it's not going to be heavy during the day on Tuesday you're going to have some snow showers throughout the day and it might wrap up all the way go all the way until Tuesday evening before it finally wraps up and pulls away but uh, there's going to be some uh, continuing snow showers throughout the day that can give you an additional inch to maybe even three in spots. And uh, that's going to go through the day on Tuesday. So let's get over to the NAM High Res Future Simulator Radar. I'm going to start this off at 7 a.m. And areas further south, we had uh, some warm air infection come in last night. And I'm actually doing this radar right now, looking at it. And we have a little bit of a dry slot in here right now. Uh, but this is going to eventually fill in with just just basically light precip here but it's because it's lighter you had the warm air advection with that transfer going on that we explained in the weather weeklies video and uh, there's going to be some sleep freezing rain to start down here rain further south but then when we move this forward and there's snow up to, up to the north here that did not get uh, much to uh, 78 but stayed generally below 78 for this uh, sleep freezing rain line here uh, but as we move through the course of the morning we're going to start getting these feeder bands off the ocean and it's going to get some very heavy snow going and what that's going to do is it's going to cool the column from north to south so you're going to get this icy mix stuff disappearing and the rain here in south jersey will also be disappearing with time and that fetch continues you see that just uh, barrels through the area and just dumps some he very heavy snow through much of the day so kind of like a mid to late morning maybe I'd say mid-morning here for maybe early morning Jersey, but uh, Eastern PA is going to get into it about uh, mid-morning or so, and then it's just going to keep uh, just dumping, 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 dumping. And you see all that icy mix that was uh, going on earlier here in the morning that we're expecting to continue for a while in far southern areas are, is going to change over to snow when that those heavy rates come in and the, and the column cools here. So cold conveyor belt will go all the way through the evening. And then we'll start, start to see, uh, as we get like mid to late evening, we'll start to see it start shifting and, and uh, kind of fall apart a little bit. And we just have these snow showers or, or snow and snow showers are going to continue overnight, uh, light to moderately so. And then during the day on Tuesday, you still have these snow showers just wrapping around all day pretty much. And then you finally get these tapering off to lighter snow showers and flurries uh, during the course of the overnight. So this is a long duration thing. So our map is goes all the way through Tuesday. So if you're not uh, you're waking up this morning saying, oh, wow, I only have six inches of snow on the ground. Well, okay, uh, we have a lot to go yet, so just uh, just be patient. There's going to be a lot more wrapping around here. And that map that we did, it goes for the entire storm. It is a storm total snowfall. Uh, but uh, just be patient with this one. This is this is definitely not a sprint. It's a marathon, okay? So we have a lot of ways to go here with this uh, particular system. So I want to get beyond this. We have some other things to discuss in the week. Uh, as this system pulls away, uh, again, today, uh, one thing I want to mention is the winds. We're going to have uh, wind gusts here closer to the uh, coast that are going to be uh, 45 miles per hour or so that are going to be gusts. And, uh, you know, eastern Pennsylvania might get in the 30 to 35 to 40 range. There's going to be an area close to the coast, especially under that band coming in of heavy snow. You get some wind gusts that are easily 30, 35, maybe even 40 uh, for a bit. But the further west you go in our region out toward Harrisburg and um, you know, out, out in that area, out in central PA, you know, the winds won't be quite as strong. It's going to be the areas closest to that low pressure. Uh, but we're going to have breezy conditions that are going to maintain uh, tonight, and then they're going to maintain on Tuesday as well, although not quite as strong on Tuesday. And then still breezy here on Wednesday yet uh, until uh, we get past that. And uh, Wednesday is going to be a morning clouds giving way to Sunday, 
and then mostly sunny skies follow here on Thursday. Now we have another system coming at us at the end of the week. It's going to have a warm front associated with it first, but we're going to have cold air in place coming in at night, and uh, this is going to be on Thursday night. So initially, we're going to have some snow showers move in uh, probably well after midnight. This is going to go into Thursday, or excuse me, Friday morning, and you can see that here, kind of like an icy mix with snow kind of deal, wintry mix stuff here on Friday morning, and then the cold front moves through and uh, changes this over to rain showers for most areas. It might just remain a mix up here in the far northern areas. So we'll have to keep a close eye on this here. Not a real big deal, uh, but it looks like uh, there could be some uh, some issues as far as uh, once we just get the just get done getting the roads clear for this uh, from this event that we're having now, or at least passable in some areas they're going to get buried. Uh, they're going to have we're going to have some more icy mix to contend with, and then maybe some light snow associated with that here on uh, Thursday night and Friday morning before it changes over to rain showers. It's going to be milder here, here on Friday. Thursday and Friday are going to turn milder. We're going to be near average here on Thursday, and then on Friday we're going to get uh, some, many areas are going to get to 40 or maybe even above 40 for highs until the front moves through. Then we turn colder on Saturday back to partly cloudy skies, and then we have another system to watch. And uh, this one could be another uh, bigger potential. I don't want to get anybody excited about anything big yet, but I mean, this, the European model is trying to suggest that uh, today. This is on Sunday, um, you know, that they have a, have a really big storm here. This is not really largely supported just yet. There's a lot of mixed opinions with this. Uh, the GFS is doing something a little bit different. Actually, Saturday night, it tries to develop, after that front goes through, the cold front tries to bring a uh, develop a low along that frontal boundary, but it's a little bit too far east and separate from the northern stream energy diving in. So these two stay separate, and they're, it's rather weak. Uh, still have some snow showers here on Sunday with this, but uh, not as big, not nearly as big, and not the same kind of evolution the European model has. So I don't want to go there yet, but it's something we're going to be watching for next weekend. And unfortunately, that just happens to fall on Super Bowl Sunday, and I know a lot of you are kind of going to be geared towards that, not really paying attention to the weather, but was, we are going to be paying attention to it because that's our job. So we will do that. Uh, throughout the week and make sure we are staying on top of it we have to uh, follow another storm here and do snow maps for that we'll be doing that there then too uh, but uh, we will just watch this throughout the week don't be too concerned about it just yet until we get a little bit closer and there's a little bit more confidence just like with this last one uh, the one we're dealing with today we had to build confidence up to it before we can lease any calls it's the same kind of idea with this so just follow follow throughout the week we'll give you the latest information as we get it uh, but right now just don't be too concerned about it at the moment, it is a storm signal that we have in our long range outlook. You know what? I should probably stop listing storm storm signals in the long range outlook because every time I do, it seems like there's something coming out of here. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Seventh, eighth time frame was one of the storm signals we listed. But uh, just follow throughout the week and we'll keep you updated with the latest information that we have. I'm EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for February 1st, 2021. Have a great Monday. Be safe.